Hey, what's going on? Good afternoon. We are checking out this 12 unit apartment building in the south of Maine neighborhood in Columbus, Ohio. If you're not familiar with there, that is. It's here on East Mound Street, if I zoom out. So just north of 70, um, I actually have a building I used to live on Lily Ave, so very familiar with this area. Walked by this building many a time. It looks like it just got rehabbed. Uh, to some extent, they've installed uh, you know, window AC units in most of the windows, done new flooring. Uh, they included a washer dryer stacked in the unit, which is a big deal. Um, did some basic appliances, you know, just basic cosmetic stuff, nothing major. They're all small, uh, two bed, one bath, about 850 to 900 square foot apartments, which are great. And they are asking, or rather they are um, renting them currently for 995 a month. Uh, which is pretty good uh, considering it doesn't have central air in their window units. It kind of makes sense. Um, and that's one upgrade, you know, you could do later down the road is add central air and some other amenities to uh, increase those rents. But for right now, 995 is actually pretty, uh, pretty decent. Would you shut up? I'm recording. <sighs> Damn cat. Um, so we ran the numbers. Um, they're asking uh, 1275. I ran it just at 1 2. Um, it's fairly new on the market. Uh, interest rates right now are all over the place. I just ran it at 7%, thinking that'd be somewhere in the middle of what people are getting with these commercial properties. Um, given this one was flipped, I'm anticipating they probably want to sell it, sell it, and would not be open to seller financing, but you never know. Uh, so depending on where that breaks down and what your LTV is, uh, you know, those numbers will change drastically, but this gives us at least a baseline to work with. Uh, from there, we did our rental income. The rental income was 12 units at 995. Um, and then I accounted for 5% for CapEx and vacancy. Um, and then, uh, you know what, this is supposed to be five right here, 5% here um, in loss for vacancy and that kind of thing. So um, essentially year one, obviously you don't cash flow because you put down the huge uh, down payment and everything. Uh, year, quote, year zero. Year one, um, it cash flows a little bit um, and then really takes off from there. So year, the three to five year mark is really where the cash flows look good. Um, initially, it's like, you know, 60 or 80 bucks a door kind of thing. It's not super impressive. Um, but these are also very preliminary numbers and the expenses are uh, quite uh, substantial, I think. I think I put in a lot of money here for expenses, almost 20 grand for taxes. I plan on the taxes currently almost doubling. Uh, insurance is five grand I have in here, 10 grand a year for maintenance, 12 grand for pest, con or 1200 for pest control and 14 grand or 10% for property management. Uh, so I have a lot of expenses built into here and this thing's still pure, pure cash flows. So at the end of the day, it's fundamentally a decent 12 unit building. It's in good shape. It's currently performing and uh, the rents still have some room on them, uh, you know, to, to raise them a little bit here in the next couple of years and get some uh, additional NOI. So uh, overall, this is definitely a deal I think worth going after and worth uh, exploring more with a uh, buyer who's interested. Um, this definitely meets somebody's long-term buy and hold uh, cash flow needs. And the area is a really strong developing area. They just put in here, uh, let's see, right up here at Bryden and Kelton is the brand new East Market. So you can damn near walk across the street to that thing. So very trendy, a lot of uh, path of progress coming down from Old Town and from Franklin Park and everything. So great area, fundamentally sound solid investment would uh, would go after for sure.